the Windy City of Chicago, third largest city in the United States, home of the original six and cup winning Blackhawks. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro is coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we get to see the top team in the league. Wonder what it's like to coach the best team. Well, why wouldn't you, Doc? You certainly want to be standing behind that bench, but there are some challenges because you know the opposition is going to bring their best. They know that we're playing really well. They don't want to get embarrassed. So I think the challenge is to continue to get the focus from your team, play the way that you have, but understand is that you're going to have to bring your work boots here tonight to have any chance at winning this game. The Canadians coaching staff has prepared them extremely well. Regardless of the situation, they never change. If they're up a goal, down a goal, they stay with their same game plan and adjust accordingly. That's why they're on top of the league standing. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Corey Crawford grew up in Montreal watching Patrick Waugh, who was a playoff marvel. No Blackhawks goalie has more playoff wins than Crawford in the regular season, half a dozen 30 victory campaigns. Niemi's the netminder of the evening. He is the type of goalie that sees the puck very well, hoping to see and stop most of the shots he sees tonight and land the W for the Canadians. This winning percentage is impressive, isn't it? Take a look at the number. Very flattering. Shea Weber. We're all impressed with high miles an hour, aren't we? Can this guy ever shoot it? Over 108, probably higher. Plus Olympic gold twice, an Olympic all-star once, and fun to watch shoot. Tremendous hit. Dred's play is so energetic early. He wants to get a hit in so his team knows that they're all ready to go. Fires a shot. Outstanding body contact. Oh, that one's going to sting. You can't brace yourself like you're up against the boards. That rattles your body top to bottom. Play stopped. It's Ray Ferraro time. Crawford's had an excellent season so far. He's got a high winning percentage, way more wins than losses. He's made enough saves that gives his team a chance to get their feet underneath them when they don't play very well. But he's been pretty consistent this year. We'll see if the opposition can get somebody in his eyes tonight, make it difficult. Him to see the puck. Thanks very much, Ray. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. Crosses that line. That was a big hit. Montreal's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Flings it. Great glove save. Passing one off now to Saad. Now it's directed to Kane. Oh, what a collision there. Puck loose couldn't get through. Snapping a pass to Petrie. Got his pad on a changing shot. Pass attempt to Saad. Oh, what a hit that one was. Montreal's in control of the puck in their own end. Knifes his way near the boards in center ice. And he shoots one. Say. Looking to Perlini. What a tremendous hit. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. Cuts that pass off. Tatar's wonderful block. And the pickup. Pitching it to Byron. Let's it go. Wonderful stop. A little under nine minutes have elapsed here in the first. Both teams have tried hard, but only the goalies have been successful. Nothing, nothing. Trying to go to Kajula. Moving it to Kunitz. And in flight over the line. 
directing that one to Tatar. Steps across that line. Flings it. He scores! Right from the top iron down! Well, they jumped up on the bench beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Chicago's won that faceoff. They have Andy dumps it in. That one comes out, and it's corralled by Niemi. 56 seconds. And he gains the zone. Just great positional play. And he holds on and stops play. Montreal's physical play opens up the ice for them all over the place. This player has among the highest hit totals in the league. Very valuable, although he's not a big scorer. The Blackhawks are only half of the group in this game that has played very well over the last 10 games. Both of these teams have played almost identically. Their records are almost identical as they head into this matchup. Laid on to Kajula. Score! And this one is tied! You get the lead, you want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the time goal. And now we're back to even. Blackhawks score. Good help for the Four center. Drake Pagulia takes it in from the neutral zone. Let's a shot go. Sends to the point. Time of the goal. Chip to Kunitz. It's dumped in. Has it picked up. The Canadians lug the puck through the neutral zone. Scorches one. Save. Oh, what a move. Chicago's continuing to probe up the wing. Pitched back in from center. More time for player changes. Driving in from no man's land. And off target with that one. Wasn't too far off, but ultimately not on the net. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Taves didn't have his head up, and he got smoked here. Not sure who had his number there, but they've clearly targeted him. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. You can't run around looking for big hits like this. These come right into your lap. They've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Gains that offensive line. Great save. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. Montreal's coaching staff's done an exceptional job this year, moving the pieces of the puzzle around to get the best results. As a result of a lineup that's pretty varied, they're tough to play against, and they lead the league standings as a result. That is interesting, Ray. There's a lot to live up to for them in this game, then, isn't there? One minute left. Moves Even to the corner. Period. He takes that point pass. Save there. To Saad. Propelled to Keith. Muscled right off. Directed on. Missed the net. Oh, that puck slowed up. It just missed the side of the net. And so we've completed one period of play. Both teams caused the goaltenders to buckle only one time. So the goalies almost won that period. It's 1-1 one, one after one. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during game play and wait for a break of the action to leave or return to your seat.
tie game as we get underway here in period number two. Watch out, a big hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Leads that charge into the zone. Score! You fight so long in a tie game. Now you've got the game-breaking goal. What do you do with it? I think you attack. You try to get another one. Or at the very least, you don't let your opponent breathe. The Canadians have taken the lead by one. What fork in the road are we headed for with this faceoff? And the faceoff's won. Slid to Keith. The Canadians force another turnover in this game. Let's see what they can do with it. Shoot! Oh, a save there. Solid work there by Saab. Taves has friends in the stands. He needs one more for that milestone. On the outside, a shot. Score! And the game is even. at various times like one team or the other would have a little bit of the upper hand doesn't matter anymore we're back to zero zero the hawks may have something to build on here tying the game in the second period a little under four minutes have elapsed here in the second so far four goals equally divided wrister from the slot and a save he hangs on and gets the whistle. Montreal's offense circles around one of the highest goal scorers in the league. While he can score off the rush, his most dangerous weapon is that quick release. Clock drop, tie up, and help from the winger. He got corked on that one. That's several times tonight he's been hit. Snaps one, turned away with the stick. Oh, Pocek saved one there. The Canadians are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Blackhawks go on the power play for the very first time. Let's see if they can capitalize. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. Five minutes, 23 seconds. Nice work by Taves. Wow, what a hit. Big padded shoulders. He got plastered on the boards there. That's a stop sign right there. Strong wrister. That puck struck him in front. He cut him down on that rush. The Canadians skated up on the side. On to Petrie. Is able to move on in. The power play is supposed, at the very least, to give you some momentum. That hasn't been the case. They've spent most of He beat everything but the post! Save! He just stopped one of the best! And directed up the wing to Armia. And a pass that just did not work and forces the ball back as far as center. Let's it go. He wore that puck on a hard shot. A collision. Oh, drives ahead. Save. Couldn't have handpicked a better guy to be on a breakaway, and he stopped him. Oh, Pocek saved one there. Chicago's power play did not do it for them. You could almost count that one, but no. And drives on through center. Let's it go. Save. Pass cut strong play. Pitching this one to Anisimov. Puck is thrown to Murphy. Oh, 
Oh, and he's hammered. Reads the play and keeps it. Big hit. Possession gone. Brings a shot. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Outstanding save off a chance. Passing one off now to Anisimov. Has it back deep. Now it's directed to Drew in. And this, oh, he'll pay for that. I haven't seen a lot of this, Doc, after whistles. Let's keep an eye on this type of play. It might lead to something else. Whistle is blown, penalty called, and the penalty box door swings open. Great job by the official. He's taking control of the game, offsetting penalties on both sides. Following the last entry on the penalty sheet, it is four aside. Man, I love four on four. One guy makes a little stumble or a half a mistake, and all of a sudden you've got scoring chances all over the place. Block it away. The Canadians skated up on the side. He's got that point pass. Wide of the net. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Weber's GPS is tuned into the penalty box as it's been for most of the season. He has among the highest totals in penalty minutes in the league. He's going to add to it here. The Canadians win it. Great stick there. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Take it out along the boards. I love seeing plays like that along the boards. Snapping a pass to Gustafson. Laid on to Taves. Makes that play deep. Pass attempt to Domi. Carries it on in from center. Save! Gives it to the point. Fires! Oh, he got that! Smart recovery by Olsen. Outstanding save by Crawford. That shooter might want to check his stick if that's all that he's got in the arsenal. It's not going to score very often. Just under seven minutes still to be skated. The red light has flashed four times to a side. Let's the shot fly. Oh, deflected away. Just couldn't find the target. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. What a hit that was. He's never been shy about staying in the guts of the game. He's a skilled player, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. The Canadians are fortunate to have him on their roster. He has among the highest point totals in the league. He's dangerous both with and without the puck. It's without the puck where he creates room for himself and becomes a dangerous offensive player. Wonderful save. Chicago's in their own end and in possession. Oh, and the puck goes out of the zone, and so they'll have to reset at center. Fires, shot deflected. The Canadians have control of the puck in the defensive zone. Steps in from the neutral zone. Terrific glove save. He covers and holds on. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. The Canadians win that faceoff. Oh, what a save. Chicago's up the wing, controlling play now. Gathered up again by Saab. Looking to Taves. Fires! Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. Brings it in for an attack. Save! Pitching it to Saad. A neutral zone interception. And they are in. Wonderful stop. Trying to go to Taves. Moving it to Keith. A huge open ice hit. If you have a hit like this, there would be more to follow. Bodied off the puck. Bangs it ahead to Coach Kinyemi. 
Good shooting place. Save. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Shoots. Wonderful stop. Directing that one to Keith. He's been drilled again. That's a lot of times tonight. He's been feeling it by now. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. You're not going to get many chances right from there. you got to hit the net. He just misses wide. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. As we look at the shots on goal, the player's arms are tired, and so is the guy with the finger on the shots on goal board. Look at this. 29 for the Canadians and 11 for the Blackhawks. Hey, fans, time for... This is the third period, and this game is tied. Shot on. Great save. Good work there in goal. Pitching this one to Taves. Puck is thrown to Saad. Huge open ice hit. Those hits look amazing unless you're the guy that's on the receiving end of them. Those will hurt. Shoots it off. Score! Now that they've got the lead, how do they play with it? Montreal's broken the tie here in the third period. Let's see what happens before time expires. They've won the faceoff. Long pass up the lane to Saw. Ah, should have done better on that pass. Now everybody has to go back to center ice and get ready again. Good save there. Passing one off now to Domi. Gains the zone and looks over his options. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Chicago's lucky they've still got a chance to win this game. Their goaltender has held them in as they've been outchanced and outshot. Scooped up by Kane. Back to the point. Smart recovery by Shea Weber. Good job done with the stick. Way to break up that play. As that measured, Montreal's forced another turnover in this very close game. Stood him right up. In all alone. Save. Shot down the best guy the other team had. Hit the post with the shot. The whole bench, you can almost hear them groan as this puck hits the pipe and deflects away. Solid, clean win. The Canadians with possession up the wing. Rubbed out along the boards. Oh, that's a spectacular hit. You're going to see that on all of the highlight shows later on. Good kick of the puck by Shaw. Skates along the line. And now it's directed to Zebra. Snapping a pass to Gustafson. What a heavy hit. The brink gets nicked up here. Guys, he's going to have to finish this shift. They're stuck in their own zone. Skates it into the zone. Fires a shot. He hit the crossbar. Pass attempt to Kunitz. Back and forth they go between the points. Robbery there. Looking to Domi. This game has been tightly contested the entire way. I can't see either team stretching this out at this point. A close finish is at hand. And he dumps it in. Pitching it to Drew in. Trying to go to Domi. Can start the attack going in the zone. Outstanding save with a glove. The goalie makes himself look big on that play.
Dabrinkit's displaying some courage after being banged up earlier in the shift. He still gets himself into the shooting lane to block the shot. Just over six minutes still to play in this period. We've got a leader in this game now. Maybe it'll be tied up again, though. The Blackhawks have it along the side at mid-ice. Shoots one. The big pillows came in handy. In with it now. Good place to shoot from, and he does. In stride, he picks up a perfect pass through center. The dump in clears the defense. That's a good hit off the forecheck. Even though he's really banged up, he's going to try and suck this up and finish the shift. Hammer got it all. Moving it to Keith. Boom, they came together that time, didn't they? Oh, he got thumped against the boards. The glass is still rattling. In the slot. A strong pad stop there. Kicked out of the scrum. The Canadians have it in the defensive zone. Gains the zone. Shoots one. Save. Up to the point. Score! Weber. Weber's stick was ready to one-time this puck. It was a perfectly placed pass. That's an outstanding shot. The goaltender doesn't have much of a chance to get across and shut the top of the net off. It's perfect. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. The brink has been missing from the bench for quite some time. Just heard that he will not be back today. Guys? And they take that neutral zone face off. Gets in, looks over his options here. The Blackhawks empty their net. He's at the bench. Directing that one to Deneau. Got it right back. Whipped on the shot. Chip to Saad. Skilled play by Petrie. Oh, did he ever get hit? I don't know how many times that is tonight, but he's been targeted. And Cash is in. should put the icing on the cake. Everybody can exhale a little bit now. Once the empty netter goes in, that pretty well wraps it up. Montreal's got that one. Now what? Pitching this one to Weber. Crosses that line. Let's it go. Save there. Propelled to Anisimov. Puck is thrown to Gustafson. Let's it go. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. The Canadians possess the play in no man's land. Terrific shot, but a denial. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. The best teams in the league find a way to win during the toughest parts of their schedule, Doc, and they have a tough schedule coming up. They have a string of games upcoming in their schedule. They're going to test them as a team. Critical win where they need it. Great glove grab. And the game is over. Terrific outing. The Canadians have another victory, and the winning streak continues to build. It doesn't seem to matter who the opponent is because this team is really executing effectively on their game. That's another win, and the streak continues. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night. <laughs>